welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I'm having a really huge giveaway when I get to 100 subscribers, and I want every single one of you all to be included in that. And be sure that you watch this entire video because there's a little secret announcement at the end, and I think you might want to hear it. Yeah, I think you want to hear it. So yeah, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and if you want to hear my red door, yellow door story, plus my thoughts on red door, yellow door, then please keep watching. Keep in mind that this is not a tutorial on how to play the game. I do not suggest anyone play the game. This is not a how-to or tips and tricks type video, and I will not be playing the video in this. So, yeah, if you just want to hear the story and what I think and my thoughts on Red Door, Yellow Door, then please keep watching. Hi guys, let's just go ahead and get ready and tell the story. I've already done my brows and, and my eyes and stuff. My face is already on, but I will have all products that I've used in the description box below. So if you wanna know what they are, just look down in the description box. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into Red Door, Yellow Door. So what it is, Red Door, Yellow Door is like a sleepover game that it's a two player game. However, any extra people who are in the room basically are the chanters. So you say red door, yellow door, any other color door, while one person is massaging the sides of your head and asking you the questions. So like, what do you see? How does the door make you feel? Do you wanna go in the room? Blah, blah, blah. And then there's the person who basically is under hypnosis or what have you, the trance, and they're the ones actually experiencing the situation. Now, there are certain things that they say that if you see in while you're playing the game to leave. So clock, a lot of clocks on the wall, an old lady, a man. Um, if a door makes you feel weird or anything makes you feel bad to not enter the room or watch so many videos on YouTube and stuff where you can literally like watch um, people playing this game and it's all over TikTok. So I'm just gonna go a little bit over the time I played red door yellow door and also i need to preface that by saying that also the same night that i played red door yellow door was the first and first out of two times that i've ever messed with the ouija board um and so i think that that might have intensified our experience because in my personal opinion i do think that red door yellow door is somewhat of a paranormal experience so it was me and three of my friends, and we were having a sleepover for a birthday party, and it was just the three of us that were staying at my friend Chelsea's house, and we're playing Red Door, Yellow Door. It was actually her older sister's idea. She had been at a sleepover, and they had played the game, and she said she knows all about how to play it. She basically just said that she was gonna hypnotize us. And so we get to playing Red Door, Yellow Door. Now, the first person to play was one of my other friends, Brittany, and she goes under the trance while my friend Chelsea's sister, Stephanie, we'll call her, is the one basically putting her under the trance or whatever. She's the one massaging her head, okay, and, answer, and asking the questions. Arms start up like this, and then slowly but surely they go down a little bit at a time. At least that's what happened for us, so they didn't go straight down. They went down a little bit at a time. And so right off the bat, Stephanie starts asking Brittany, what do you see? And she said, I'm in a hallway and there's a light at the end of the hallway. And she said, Stephanie asked her, well, do you wanna approach the light? She said, no. And so Stephanie then says, okay, turn to your right and what do you see? And she said, I see a baby blue door. And she said, well, how does the door make you feel? And that's when Brittany said, I feel fine. Oh, she says, do you want to go in the door? Brittany says yes, and she goes in the door. I'm just gonna go ahead and summarize Brittany's story up with saying that it was pretty normal. So she had a kind of a normal experience. She didn't see anything weird, no clocks on the wall, nothing like that. Now, the next person to go under was Chelsea. And she's like really hopped up on it. Chelsea still to this day is like very much into like the paranormal and like different stuff like that. So it was, even then she was, so it was like no surprise to us that she was like really into the situation. So, um, and of course her sister is still 
the one massaging the head asking the questions type thing. So with um, Chelsea, her arms go down about the same speed that Brittany's did. So it takes, you know, maybe, I don't know, I would say probably 20 seconds where her hands are down. So her hands go down and immediately Stephanie says, what do you see? And she says, I'm in a hallway and there's no lights on. So like we didn't know rules. There was no like real internet we could go on at this time where we could like search and see like what are the rules to play red door, yellow door like there are now. So like now you can go and you can Google whatever. So she goes in a room and doesn't, she just says I'm in a room and she says there's a lot of stuff hanging on the wall and she says there's clocks sister says okay turn to your left and she turns to her left and she says what do you see and she says I see a man in a black suit and so she said how does the man make you feel she said I feel really uneasy and really uncomfortable and so at that point that's when um, Stephanie said go ahead and leave the room guys I'm reading notes because we all like kind of talk to each other to kind of reminisce on this story to make sure I had it all right so sorry I'm reading from notes Hers kind of ends in a mess because she then claims when she goes back out to the hallway that there's a dead body and that she feels really, really like scared for her life. And so that's when Stephanie's like, okay, wake up. It's time for you to wake up. And she doesn't. Stephanie has to like jerk her for like a good, I would say 40 seconds before she comes to. Guys, it was so, so scary. And so, for whatever reason, I guess because we were dumb, idiot teenagers, guess who is the idiot to decide that she's going to go and, and she's going to play it now? You got that right. None other than me. So, as soon as I go down, the way I can explain it was almost like you're staring at the ceiling when all the lights are out, so it's nighttime. It wasn't like I was there. It was almost as if it were like a dream, kind of but not really it wasn't as vivid as a dream either but as soon as i go under in the trance uh they asked me what i see and I, all i seen was pitch black and then she said okay turn to your left and all i see is a old lady's face i don't see no body nothing sometimes they say like an old lady in a white dress you need to leave or whatever i didn't see none of that i just seen an old lady space right here in front of me and i guess i went like <gasps> and they were like what 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 and i said there's an old lady's face in front of me and so they shook me awake so we have like horrible experiences to be honest with you guys it scared the absolute shit out of me and the fact that we went from playing a Ouija board at like 2.30 in the morning till probably around 3.45 straight in to playing, you know, red door, yellow door is absolutely crazy to me. Especially after the um, Ouija board experience that we did have because it was so intense since the second time that I played because it had me so scared. Um, but the first time that I played, I was really just playing to see if my pappy would talk to me. And I trust these friends of mine with my whole entire being. So I know that they're not, that they weren't messing with me that night. And I got to talk to my pappy. So I do want to do a story time on that. So my kind of thoughts on the whole situation is, do I think it's a real game? I, I think it is if you go into it like actually believing truly that it is. And I also think that it is what you make it. Do I think that paranormal is involved in it? Absolutely. A hundred percent. If it's demonic or not, I have, you know, now that I've heard that theory, like that scares the shit out of me because I played this when I was 17 years old and that, that just scares me because I'm just so much about like light and love and good energy and good vibes and I don't I don't like the thought of me potentially messing with any type of demonic anything. Guys, if you play it, just be super duper safe. My personal opinion and my advice to you is to not play it. So yeah, and I also wanted to mention that, well, my friend Chelsea wanted me to mention that she has had continuous nightmares of the red door, yellow door experience ever since. 
Guys, it was just a really traumatizing experience, especially for her. And she still to this day won't tell us everything that she's seen in that trance or whatever. So my personal opinion, just don't mess with it. By the way, these lashes, I've been getting a lot of um, questions about them. They are D-Y-S-I-L-K-005. It's on Amazon. I'll have but yeah, guys, if you all um, are interested, and hearing the Ouija board story time, then please let me know down in the comment section down below. It is a really interesting story and I would love to share it with you guys. So if you do want to hear it, then let me know down below. Also, I got quite a few comments about where I get these little headbands. They're just off Amazon. Just look up makeup headband and so many of them will pop up. Also, don't forget that every product that was used um, while I got ready is down below. But this video shout out is this one right here. So do make sure to go and subscribe to their channel. Leave some lipstick emojis down below. And you guys, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I am so excited that this channel is growing and I want it to keep growing. And in order for it to keep growing, you guys have to subscribe. So 63% of you all are just coming by and watching the videos and not subscribing. So subscribe, subscribe to my channel. If there's anything that you want to see, don't forget to put it in the comment section down below. Also, it, like this video, it's just a free way that you can let you, uh, YouTube know to start pushing out my content, and that would mean the absolute world to me. And also, don't forget, when we get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to be having a giveaway, and I want every single one of you all to be included in that. And yeah, so I love you guys so much. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you all made it to the end of the video, this is the secret emoji. Comment it down below. And from now on, if you comment down the secret emoji, it's gonna put you an extra entry into my 100 subscriber giveaway. So this is the secret emoji. Put it down in the bottom if you watched until the end. I love you guys so much. And until next time, I love you guys. Bye.